Okay, today we're going to show you how that we make our pasteurized cottonseed hull that we use for the substrate for the oyster mushrooms. What you're looking at is a one of the blue 55 gallon water drums. What we've done is we've cut this barrel, uh, an opening in this barrel, after we laid it on our side and you can see we've installed some hot water heater elements. There's one on each end of the heater. This also has a thermostat that you can see. And now we're going to just add the cottonseed hulls and fill it up with some water and we'll let them cook for two hours. Okay, now we're just going to take our cottonseed hull, open the bag up. We're just going to dump it into the barrel. That's all there is to it. We're just going to add some water and now we're going to cook it for a couple hours. Okay, we're going to just kind of level things out a little bit. Spray in the water. I like to coat it all down real good just to keep the dust down. Once that's done, Kind of level it out a little bit. We're not going to fill it all the way up with water either. We're actually going to fill it up to probably about, probably about a little over two thirds way. I found that it actually uses less electricity when we don't use as much water, and the cotton seeds actually get a little hotter. You want to keep the cotton seed in order to pasteurize it at about 140 to 160 degrees. Is what you want to get it at. Um, and I like to keep it at that temperature for uh, at least an hour, uh, but I run it for two hours total time from start to finish. After that gets going, I just lay the hose in there and let it run until it fills up. Okay, it's been two hours now and we've pasteurized our substrate. You can also see we have a metal lid that we made for our pasteurizer that I didn't show you in the earlier clip. We filled it up with water, we've cooked substrate for two hours now, and we're going to drain off the water. We want to get all of the water drained from the container so that just a certain amount is left in the cottonseed hulls. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of that early, later. Okay, we found that a pair of pliers works really good for doing this. It just kind of fits right into the bung plug, which is that's what this plug is called. It's called a bung plug. And uh, we just open the pliers up a little bit. It fits in the grooves and we can loosen up the plug. You want to be real careful when you're doing this because the water is extremely hot. We don't open it all the way, but we do open it a little ways so that the water can start to drip out. Not quite all the way. We'll just let it drip like that uh, until, it's, until the barrel is basically empty. 